Welcome back to Jay Stories, where ideas and technology from Japan help solve global social and environmental problems. I'm Toshi Maeda, and here's a quick look at this week's Jay Stories. Japanese scientists are working to save one of the world's most critically endangered species. What are believed to be the world's last two remaining northern white rhinos live in the Kenya conservation area, but both are female. Using stem cells, researchers have already produced germ cells ready to develop into eggs. These could then be fertilized using frozen sperm from deceased bulls and implanted in a related species for surrogate birth. The technology, developed with an international research group called BioRescue, could be used to save other species on the brink of extinction. Leader of the Japanese team, Professor Katsuhiko Hayashi, told J Stories that the northern white rhino is being driven to extinction at the hands of humans and that he feels it is our human duty to save it. A Tokyo startup has developed technology to add over 30 smart functions to clothes. For example, after treatment with this tech, clothes become UV-proof, less see-through, and resistant to odor and static electricity. Usually, adding such treatments needs binders, glue-like substances that can make clothes stiff. But the company developed a way to treat the clothes using much less binder that gives the fabric a softer feel. In the future, fabric made with electric fibers could be controlled by smartphones to heat or cool specific parts of the body. Clothes of the future might even include medical sensors to collect data on the wearer's physical condition. And one day, instead of choosing clothes for the weather, the clothes themselves could adapt to climate conditions. That's all for this week from JStories. Please visit our website at jstories.media for more details on these stories. And don't forget to like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel and newsletter if you haven't. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspiration from Japan.